I lived a modest life. He resided in a rundown house, drove an old car, and his lifelong savings amounted to less than $1,800. In the wealthiest diamond nation in South America, Mujica's personal wealth was less than that of an average citizen. Guarding him day and night was a three-legged stray dog. Water had to be drawn from a H.U. Alb after work, Mujica would tend to his garden where he grew vegetables and raised chickens and ducks. Due to his financial struggles, Mujica was dubbed the poorest president in the world. At the age of 74 with a 52.6 approval rate, Mujica assumed the presidency, surprising many who believed his promises of prosperity were mere rhetoric. Despite his own impoverished circumstances, within five years, he successfully lifted the people out of poverty with a per capita AGP reaching $18,000 several times more than his own net worth. Mujica and his wife owned only a 1987 Volkswagen Beetle, a tractor, and a small farm. The Beetle was a collective purchase by his friends, and although many expected him to upgrade after becoming president, he continued driving it for 30 years. Upon his election, he refused to move into the state-provided presidential residence, choosing to return to his farm. He believed that living in a large space was a waste and preferred to donate the money saved on a poor man. Every day, he returned to his farm and consistently donated 90 of his assets, equivalent to $12,000 to welfare organizations monthly. This selfless act earned him the reputation of being one of the most humble presidents globally. His only farm residence was actually owned by his wife. Despite offers of $1 billion to buy his beloved beetle, he rejected them, considering it a gesture of friendship and insisting he didn't need so much money. Mujica spent 30 years settling in a modest farm on the outskirts of Montevideo, Uruguay. During interviews, he often chose the backyard as the setting, and his chickens and ducks would sometimes peck at the chairs. Concerned for Mudushika's safety, authorities attempted to assign a security detail, but he vehemently refused. Urugi had to enact new laws mandating a security detail for the president, leading to a compromise with a three-legged domestic dog and two human guards. The guards were forbidden to appear while Mujika worked, but they joined him for dinner, sharing a simple meal sourced from the farm. Having been part of the Tupamaras, guerrilla group in the early 1970s, engaging in bank robberies and distributing stolen goods to the poor, Mujika suffered six gunshot wounds and spent 14 years in military prison, enduring harsh conditions. This prison experience profoundly shaped his worldview. Despite a humble childhood, Mujika displayed resilience and perseverance from an early age. Like a small grass in a town, he grew tenaciously without the ostentatious blossoms of grandeur remaining indomitable. A talented cyclist in his youth, his courage and determination were applauded as he sped through the town streets. Even now, the bicycle that accompanied his childhood is proudly displayed on the wall of his home.